Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Kyle, or KZKB, and I'm back from vacation. Yes, I've done a few live streams before this. I hope you guys watched those. Those were a lot of fun to do, but, you know, this is my first video back from vacation, like, first actual video, and this one took a while to edit, so I did do a few live streams before this, like I said before, but, you know, Black Ops 4 is coming out. We have the private beta right now, and since it's coming out, that means one thing, boys. One thing. It's zombie time, baby. That is right guys, so Black Ops 4 just around the corner, just on the horizon. I am so excited to be making a ton of zombies content. For those of you who do not know, maybe you're from like the Battlefront 2 community, maybe from the like, Bethesda Fallout community, or maybe you're from the Overwatch community. If you're from the Overwatch community, man, you've been here a long time. What you still doing? I haven't over I haven't uploaded Overwatch in like like three months, I think. I don't I don't even know, man. But if you're from those communities, you may not know this, but I love Call of Duty Zombies. That was my intent when I started this channel to do Call of Duty Zombies, but I got in some other games and Zombie wasn't doing too hot at the time, so I decided to pursue those. I love those communities. I'm not going to abandon them. I'm still going to make content on those a little bit, but Zombies, guys, Zombies is probably going to take over a little bit. I love Zombies so much. A lot of my favorite YouTubers, the ones I watched that got really inspire like my style of content are zombies youtubers pretty much all of them guys so yeah there's gonna be a lot of zombies content guys and this is the first real black ops 4 video there's been some speculations that i've made in the past for black ops 4 this is the first real one guys and this is the top five confirmed changes like confirmed by treyarch changes coming to black ops 4 zombies let's get straight into the video just kidding, you knew it was going to be that quick. When, when have I ever like gone straight into a video without saying something? Yeah, we have another shout out. I'm going to shout out I Know Loading or IK Loading. I think it stands for I Know. But yeah, go check him out. He has awesome Fortnite content and a few other games. He's really cool. I've talked to him a few times. So yeah, he definitely deserves a sub. Go check him out, guys. And also, if you're watching this from California, stay safe. I know there's a lot of fires going on there. That's not cool. That's, that's got to be kind of rough. Stay safe over there, guys. We're praying for you. We're thinking about you. Let's get this video started. Yeah, let's go. So starting us off, guys, at the number five spot, we're getting four maps at launch. That's the life cycle, the DLC cycle of Black Ops 3. Not including Chronicles. That, that's a separate thing. It's a DLC 5. It's not normal, okay? We may get a Zombies Chronicle 2, but that's another point for another video, guys. But that is the normal life cycle of a DLC season. That's insane. Like, my worry is that they'll kind of put all their eggs in one basket and they maybe run out of, idea, out of ideas in the future. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. I don't think it will. It's Blundell. Let's be honest, Bundell's the best. I actually went to Treyarch, and I'm telling you, they're doing pretty good. I just saw the main lobby, but still, they're going to do pretty good, guys. I really trust them with this, but I am kind of nervous, but I'm also super excited because it's so much content that we're getting right off the bat. They're really trying to service the Zombies community, and I love that, guys. But yeah, this is going to be pretty awesome. It's also kind of nerve-wracking about the Easter egg hunt because Easter egg hunts are so much fun. I love doing them, but the thing is, if there's four, like... Everybody's going to be doing probably Blood of the Dead first, let, let's be honest, but there's going to be four Easter eggs, like the um, the Ultimus, the new Ultimus map, I think it's 5 Remastered, I think it's called Classified, or maybe it's called something else, we don't know the actual name yet, but as far as we know, it's Classified, and then there's 9, there's Voyage of Despair, which is the Titanic, and then there's a Blood of the Dead, Mom of the Dead Remastered. Pretty sure everyone's going to do the Mom of the Dead Easter egg hunt, but yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome, so excited for four maps, so much content, guys, comes at number 5. Now, number four, ladies and gentlemen, we have Zombies Rush, a brand new game mode coming to Black Ops 4, very inspired, I think, by like the Grossen House thing, how you pronounce it, from World War II. Basically, from what we know about it, you're in a map, they run at you, they're super fast, the zombies are aggressive, it's probably like a two hit down, yeah, that's it, survive. Now, this is really awesome to me because, in my opinion, we've kind of lost this essence in zombies. Like, Back in the beginning, we used to try to survive. Keep them out of Nox. Don't let them in. Keep the barriers built. That was our mentality. Stay alive. Camp. Now it's like really aggressive ones. We're doing Easter eggs. We're doing all this stuff. Challenges. You know, it takes us back to where we're just trying to survive. They're zombies. We're humans. We just want to live. I really like that concept. Now they're bringing it full circle. It's awesome, guys. Super excited for it. Comes in at the number four spot. Now, number three, we have the story. And this kind of goes back to the four maps thing in that it's not just premise anymore. It's not just Rick Toppin's crew going through, trying to collect the souls. No, we have 
four di no wait, no we have three different storylines three simultaneous now i hope like at the end or at some point they converge now i have a theory boys i have a theory you ready i have a theory that scarlet is tank dempsey's long lost daughter i have a theory they're gonna converge she's looking for her dad makes sense zombie stories just saying that's what i think it's gonna happen if it happens I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna put this clip of me saying it. Hey, future Kyle, what's up? You were right. I'm gonna put this in the video if I'm right. If not, just pretend I ever said it. I really hope they converge later, guys. That would be awesome, but three different storylines. Now we have the Ultimus crew. We don't know what they're doing in five. We don't know what's going on there. We have the new, I think, Chaos crew, I think is they're called. Little voice crack right there with voice Voyage of Despair and Nine. Awesome story, can't wait to see. We never really had a fully fleshed new new characters, like new storyline since like forever ago. Mob of the Dead was one map, Shadows was one map. This is gonna be multiple maps, gonna be awesome. And we also, of course, Mob of the Dead premise. Super excited for that too. I'm saying super excited a lot. Yeah, because I am super excited. Zombies is the best and multiple storylines. It's gonna get complicated, it's gonna get weird, but that's zombies, that's why we love it, guys comes in at number three now number two guys is that we are actually getting bots in black ops 4 zombies and this is a really cool idea because personally for me i got into black ops 3 zombies a little bit late i got in when garak Roby was coming out i played like black ops 1 black ops 2 i had no money to buy black ops 3 especially on the season pass so i got into it a little bit late i didn't even have a ps4 till about a year i think two years ago so i got into it a little bit late but i still love zombies and i got i grinded it so hard but i couldn't do the shadows of evil easter egg because i didn't know three of the people that are into zombies enough to do it i knew some people i played with but i didn't know guys that really loved it that much because if you're gonna do an easter egg you have to know at least a little bit about zombies like you have to like have some idea what you're doing you don't have to be an expert obviously no but you gotta have some idea i didn't know three other people to do it until a while and it was like my greatest gaming memory ever when we finally got it but still that blockage where i kept doing it by myself but it never counted that really stunk but with this new thing it completely fixes that problem because we have bots coming in now that can help us do it, that we can just run through the motions. If we know it, we don't have to wait on someone else if we don't know the people to do it. We can just go ahead, get it done with bots. And yes, it's going to be more fun with other people, but if you just want to get that gate worm or whatever the reward is and block us for, you can go ahead and do it with bots. And that's why I think this is not only going to be a big change, but an amazing change to block us for zombies. Now finally, number one, ladies and gentlemen, is Zombies Mutations, or at least that's the, the going name for it right now. And basically what it is, is customizing your Zombies matches. Because of the biggest complaint, I think, or at least one of the biggest complaints in Black Ops 3 was that it just wasn't replayable enough. People went to Black Ops 2 that was more replayable because you could customize it a little bit, you could do these different challenges, even bur I mean, not buried, you could do grief mode if you want to, even though grief mode, I think, was on buried. No, turn was on buried, that's right. And you could just change it up so much and there's so many more challenges on black ops 2 so the community bent, went back to that game and they want to fix that so in black ops 4 they added this thing that i think the name of it right now the standing name for it as of now is zombies mutations and they said there's going to be like hundreds of different variations like you can control which guns are in the box how fast the zombies are and just everything i, I don't really know how to go into everything they have just yet because we don't know for sure but they say like this is this is what they say so far i mean they could be you know stretched obviously but what they're saying is you can change pretty much everything about the game and black ops 2 you can know you can turn magic off you can do stuff like that start a different round but black ops 4 you're supposed to be able to completely customize your zombies experience so it's not always that traditional running through do the easter egg cryptic treyarch kind of feel because you can change it you can make it more fun you can change you can make the game to where it does certain challenges say you want to do the mystery box challenge you can take weapons off the wall so it's only the mystery box no wonder weapons that you know you have to earn i don't know if that's like that specifically is an option but stuff like that you can create challenges and the greatest stuff about this the greatest thing about this is that you can make these separate game modes inside of it after you customize it and share it like a mod kind of like in like pc black ops 3 where you can go share it you can create your own you can't make the map but you can create your own game mode through this zombies mutations and then share it other people can play it kind of like infamous 2 did where you can create your own missions it's gonna be awesome guys i know a lot of you probably didn't play infamous 2 but i i, I really love infamous so I, I had to throw it in there but this is going to be great because if it's good if it's what they say it is it will increase the lifespan of the game 
by so much guys so this by far is what I'm most excited for and it's the biggest change coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies. Well that is today's video guys, I do hope you enjoyed, if you did please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this. I actually worked very hard in this video, it took a long time, I do hope you enjoyed it and that's another point I gotta make is that I wanna start doing top 5's weekly, not like every video, I don't want them to be all I'm known for, you know, I don't wanna just do the same thing, I wanna be more creative and also they take a very long time and they're just, I feel like I'm getting repetitive that I'm not original enough, you know, I want to use my channel more to help you guys out and to help other people out, and I want to make new series, I want to live stream more, I love talking to you guys on live streams, I don't want to do top fives every single video anymore, you know, I want to change my channel, I want to innovate, thank you guys for watching, let me know what you think about that, about the new schedule, I haven't really found, like, pined out which days I'm going to do which yet, but I just know I'm going to do weekly top fives instead of, like, every video, because I want to change that up, guys. I want to change our channel up. I want to innovate. Thank you so much for watching. Stay humble. Be kind. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, and God bless.